that joint is dope right there, boy. Woo! New month. New intro. You know how we get down. Yes, yes, yes. What is good, my people? Welcome back to Computer Music Academy's weekly homework podcast. I am your host, Tashir Rasay. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Welcome to week two zero two of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. Shout out to my man, RTO Beats, for that intro. Using that throughout the entire month of June, then moving on to something else. Shout out to the packed house in here tonight. And so we make sure we take care of everybody. We make sure we show love to everybody that comes watch live. We do have the shout out list. Make sure you hit the shout out list type exclamation shout into the chat and you would definitely get a shout out uh definitely by the end of the show so who have we got that has checked in so far gemini 4d uh late pass music aka gemini i'm gonna say <laughs> aka j bishop agent smith 78 rto beats i will create no one you know my wife samaya dj promo have checked in so far who else? We just, I just saw Ron B walked in. A couple other people. KB is in the house. What's up, bro? Glad you can join us tonight, man. Greatly appreciate y'all coming through and hanging with us. We do this every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, right here. YouTube.com slash Computer Music Academy. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. What are we doing? Episode 202. Let me tell you something. I love my crew. My crew is the best. Okay. They are some of the best musicians on the planet. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> that being said, yes, I come up with a lot of these assignments. We do about 40 per year. And I come up with about just about all of them. It depends. It, it's, it's, I'm inspired by stuff that's going on in my life or stuff that I see or just kind of looking at, you know, the time and seeing, well, maybe we should go with something like this. So last year, <laughs> last year, our good brother, Gamma Pods, I think at the time was still DJ Locturnal, posted a pic on Instagram and I wish I would have got it. I'm, I'm totally behind my game. But uh, he posted a pic on Instagram this one Sunday. And for the, in case you didn't know, the assignments come out every Sunday. They're due that next Sunday. We do the podcast on Tuesdays. That being said, I, was, I already had something planned for that particular Sunday. I just happened to be on Instagram. And what do I see? In all of his cheesy glory, my man Gamma Pies posts this picture of him smiling in front of one of his co-workers' boats, yachts. And I was like, yo, that would be ill to do. Because there's a genre of music called Yacht Rock. And it's actually really dope. Believe it or not, go Google it. Google Yacht Rock and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So I actually got inspired right then and there to give that to the people. And we had an incredible show when we did this last year. So I said, you know what? That was a really good show. I want to do that again and see what people come up with this year. And we have 10 submissions for Yacht Hop. This should be damn good. I'm ready to get into it right now. Starting off with my man. This dude is crazy. He's literally out of his damn mind. Why? Because he's already released three projects this year. And they're all nasty. I'm waiting to see if he's going to do another three or four more before it's all said and done. Ladies and gentlemen, kicking things off this week, our man repping the DMV, Kane. Welcome aboard. Please sit back and enjoy the ride. If you hear music, don't worry. It's hip hop. If you cannot swim, do not be alarmed. 
There are devices located outside of each cabin to assist you with that. Shameless plug. This beat is presented to you by Thelonious Drunk. If you don't know by now that's Kane. Peace. Hashtag. We are CMA. I said that dude's crazy he's out of his damn mind <laughs> uh for this i used the sample i used the sample from bobby watson the love we had yesterday uh in machine studio i still don't know what yacht hop is yacht hop is this <laughs> peace Kate. hashtag we are cma man that joint right there it's, it's, I love the intro. The intro was really, really dope. And then when it finally hit, like when it hit, because the chops in the beginning was really dope. You had, uh, I'm assuming that was like one of the robot, you know, computer voices kind of thing, which was really dope. I like that. Uh, so yeah, you had that in the beginning and you hear the piano chops and whatnot in the background, but dude. When that snare hit, the freaking VU meter said, "What?" <laughs> like, good God. And see, Kane does that. He does that where his, his drums, I like his drums. I love what he does with his drums because they always, and this is something I've tried to do. The, the drums are always like, a decibel or so louder than everything else. I can only imagine that he probably goes and he does the mix. And then once he has everything solid, he bumps the drums up maybe just a little bit more still watching that limiter, making sure that, you know, it's not peaking or I should say the master volume, making sure that it's not peaking either way. I love this. I love this. And I've never heard of Bobby Watson, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's all in that category. Cause man, yacht rock, got some artists and it's funny because and i think i said this last year also i didn't even know yacht rock was a thing until i want to say when i was working at guitar center so that would have been 2000 i don't know i think the first time i heard somebody say it may have been 2009 2010 or something like that and when i saw gamma in front of that boat that's what inspired me i was like oh we could probably use something like that so anyhow uh Love what Kane did here. Love the sample he used. I need to go check that out myself just to at least listen to that stuff because I like listening to samples. Well, you know, music in general. But yeah, Kane, I expect to hear this on the next project. I'm assuming that'll be out next week. <laughs> My man. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's go on ahead. Holler at our next contestant. It's a gentleman, like I said, he just showed up. I'm like, yo, I'm here. What's happening? How y'all doing? <laughs> Watched the episode or two, jumped in, and he's been killing it. I think he missed last week, but I think he's going he's gonna to make up for it this week. Ladies and gentlemen, our new guy, 
I will create. I see you, bro. I see you. I see you. Uh, I was going to talk about everything that I, that went wrong this week, but nah, I'm here. Yeah, he did have a crazy week, but he's good. I'm glad you made it in. <clears throat> uh, this was Jerry Rafferty with Baker Street. That amazing saxophone work was on my mind all week. I did my best. Crazy week. Hope it's okay. Hashtag be creative. Hashtag be yourself. Yo. I see you, Will. I see you. I see you. Already, he's 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 implementing some of the stuff that we do here, that we teach, so to speak. Even though I don't say I'm a teacher or anything, he's he, he's beginning to implement some of that stuff. I like how he used this sample again. That's somebody I've never heard of, but I like how he used it, and then he had other stuff. You know, because this dude's studio is ridiculous. He has an insane amount of gear. And I like how it's set up. So he does all the chops and everything. And he went back and played some more synths or instruments on top of that. Really, really dope. He has that really haunting, somewhat sinister somewhat trap feel with a lot of his beats that I well, what if all of the beats that I've heard so far has that 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 kind of sound to it and I do like that one thing that was absolutely incredible and it's easily the highlight of this track is at the one minute mark it goes into this where it just completely changes what's going on in the song. You got the main part, which is really dope. But this part completely changes. This could be a bridge of sorts, but it actually goes on much longer than a normal bridge would. And as it progresses, more stuff changes and gets added to it. And it's just 
so dope what he did there. And then to bring it back basically to the main groove towards the end. Yo, that was dope. <laughs> Bravo, Dyke. Bravo. I'm I'm loving what you're doing so far. Glad you're feeling better. And uh definitely looking forward to see what you, what else you do this year, man, cuz that was on point. Very 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 nice. Very nice. Uh who we got? Shout out to Mike Notes just walked in. Who else? Holistic Realist. I think I got everybody else so far. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we started off started off right tonight. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's go holla at my guy right here. This guy. I told you. I'm watching very closely. I'm going to see what happens for the rest of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, my man, no one you know. Yo, yo, he did it again. That's my favorite No One You Know track. Good God, oh, yeah. He says, Yacht Rock is a cool genre. Uh, that soft rock rhythms make for some pretty dope hip hop. I know, right? <laughs> I found Nicolette Carson and Michael McDonald's Let Me Go Love. And chopped it, laid the bass and drums. Hope everyone likes it. Hashtag we are CMA. Bruh. No one did what no one does, but made it so damn smooth. Like, <coughs> excuse me. The bass is in there. 
but it's still it's subtle compared to other tracks but it's still very present but the way this dude chop these vocals and then other parts of the song yo my man is dope <laughs> Yo, that joint is crazy. And I like the drums, especially like the snare, snap kind of thing that you use. That worked out really, really well. I like the rolling hi-hats on this joint. That worked out when you were actually kind of doing a fill-in and everything was jumping around a little bit. Yo, no one is dope, man. That's all I got to say, man. No one is 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 on his way. I'm proud of you, Dad. <laughs> that was nasty. Mm. So I gotta go. I gotta listen to that song now. <laughs> See what you did with it. Good looks, no one. Who we got to just walked in? Hey, make sure real quick. Make sure y'all add your name to the shout out list. Type into the chat, exclamation, shout. And uh, you will definitely get your shout out at the end of the show. There we go. We're back. Uh, I saw some couple people walk in. BS Filter. Who else we got? Afterlife is in the house. Somebody else just walked in. Ah. Uh, can't remember now. Dixie Freely is in the house. Make sure you add your name to the shout out list. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time we just leave the country completely. The U.S. that is. And head to the far, far east side to go holler at my man right here. Uh, he's incredibly dope. We talked today. I see big things happening for my man. Ladies and gentlemen, student.
student, ladies and gentlemen. Good God, this dude. Just updated my software from Ableton Live 9 to 10. Congratulations. Uh, the sample is Magic by Olivia Newton-John and promo called it. <laughs> he was like, Olivia in the house. <laughs> uh, Olivia Newton-John and I added some instruments which are new in Ableton Live 10. Hope I didn't mess it up. No, you did not. Uh, hashtag CMA changed my life. Hashtag we are CMA. Bruh. Oh my God. Okay. Story time with Tashir. So as I said, student and I talked today and, uh, he was just like, man, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm doing the same thing over and over and over. And then, you know, no one, you know, got a, got a style and, and Gamma got a style and RTO and so many, many other people got their own style own style or sound. I feel like I don't have my own yet. And I'm like, dog, you have so many years ahead of you. And this is real because student is still pretty young. You have so many years ahead of you, but in the time that he's been in CMA, which was last fall, he's actually progressed a lot from those first couple of beats to what he's doing now. And it's all about practice, whether it's me giving you an assignment or you finding something to do and, and being creative on your own on a regular basis. <clears throat> almost on a schedule it's all about constantly practicing and as the as they say get those ten thousand hours in so you can master your craft so to speak you have nothing to worry about dog you kicking out stuff like this i can only imagine two five ten years from now what this dude is going to be doing as long as you stay on top of it this was nasty there was there's the, the whole joint is crazy there's this one part, and it, it repeats a couple of times throughout the song, but it's like the chops are going, and it's like, doom, 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 boom. I love that part. This joint is dope throughout. But man, when it hits the minute 50, and it goes to a completely different place, yo, that part right there just took it from here to hear it was already dope but he just made it even better you're a beast man stay on it straight up and you know myself and the rest of the crew we got you back man bravo thank you for turning that in yes Woo! let's keep it moving man let me go holler at my brother man see what he's talking about this week ladies and gentlemen DJ promo. This is what happens when you do silly stuff. This is what happens. So promo sent in his joint for next week already. And that sucks. We've already heard it. All right. Let's try this again. DJ promo. Don't do that again. <laughs> you screw me up when you do stuff like that. Let's go.
What's up, fellas? Mr. 201 live show due to a major blackout in my neighborhood. Back to business. For this assignment, I sampled two songs, Christopher Cross's uh, Arthur's Theme and Olivia Newton's Newton John's Magic. Uh, added some instruments to spice it up. Hashtag we are CMA. This dude promo. <laughs> First of all, don't be sitting in the damn look, bruh. When I get the emails, I go straight and, and I search for this week and I just get the download. Don't be sending stuff in when you know I'm looking for this week stuff. We'll talk about that next week when we get the chance to hear the rest of the joint. This week's joint. <laughs> what the hell, man? That joint is damn ridiculous. God. And, and somebody said it in the chat. It's like, damn, we in Chop City this week? <laughs> yeah. This dude, Christopher Cross, is already a beast. I love Christopher Cross's music. Uh, that's Sailing, by the way, the dude that made Sailing. Uh, and then Olivia Newton-John, we got that again. Or her again. Fire. And it trips me out because we were talking in our little hangout last week. The fact that promo is still on machine 1.8 with the MK1. Myself, RTO, AS, I think Dixie was there possibly, was just like, this dude doesn't know about Lazy Chop and grids and and all of this other stuff that we are using now, he's still on 1.8 doing this. It's not the gear, ladies and gentlemen, or the software. It's the operator. That was nasty promo. And I love the transitions between the, I think it was three or maybe it was four different parts. Good God. My man, thank you for that, bro. All right. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get some more stupidity into our lives. This guy comes around maybe once or twice a month. When he does come around, so incredibly stupid. Let's see what he's doing this week. Ladies and gentlemen, after life.
Oh my. Oh my. Researched Yacht Rock and checked out some videos. It wasn't a pinpointed sound. People took uh, took it so many directions. So I had to do the afterlife way. Big up to our share and the rest of CMA. Big up to you, bro. Uh, hashtag we are CMA. Hashtag afterlife experience. So basically, he looked some stuff up like, okay, cool. No problem. And then he made his own interpretation of it. And boy, did you nail it. If that does not make you want to go get on a boat, or at least, especially for people like myself, we're in the Detroit area. I was born and raised in Detroit. We're right next to the river. If that doesn't make you want to get close to the river, to the river front, at least, I don't know what that is, if that's not the case. Yes, you can dance to it, of course. Yes, you can ride in the car to it. But yo, and I, I don't, I don't forget who it was. I think it was Fields. I could be wrong. Somebody said something about grabbing my shoes, grabbing my 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 yacht shoes, and I'm on my boat shoes, and I'm on the way out the door. Yo, that was incredible, Doug. Like it has everything. Now, granted, a lot of us are of a certain income bracket. <laughs> we don't have any boats. Probably will never be on a boat. Well, shout out to Bob Lowe. <laughs> uh, but man, this is perfect for that. Good God, F. That's crazy. <laughs> you nailed that. Sheesh. I love the minute and 40 where it actually breaks down. And you think that is actually going to go somewhere else. Possibly. And he, 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 is, he got the misdirection. He brings the, the main groove right back in and then just let it fades out. So stupid. F. Thank you, dog. That was crazy. Yeah. Stupid. Y'all are clowning tonight. All right. Let's go to the other side of the shy. Holla at my guy, Jelani Beats. You let the smoke Who saw him for him. You let the smoke Who saw standing still
Good God. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. Doug. Jelani just made my favorite joint of his. Of all time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He says, Oh, I love this. In this submission, I love this terminology. I dissected. Yes, you did. What kind of fool by Barbara Streisand and Barry Gibb. Now, the reason why I was losing it so much is because I've actually wanted to successfully chop that for a while now. I've I tried a couple of times before, before I'm in, before I, I'm the person I am now, you know, the artist I am now, I've tried and was unsuccessful. To hear what this dude did with that sample, I, I knew that's what he was when it kicked in. Stupid. Uh, hope, uh, hope you guys enjoy hashtag. We are CMA hashtag dirty old man. Dog, this is my favorite Jelani beats joint. This is dare I say your finest mix to date. Whatever you did here, continue to do that straight up. The mix on this joint is so point i love your selection of sounds as far as like the drum sounds that kick is not a normal kick i love the way you picked you selected it you programmed it really really dope the chops in this joint again i'm 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 i love that song and i wanted to do something with it i'm glad somebody did something dope with it the way you arrange this is freaking ridiculous. What is really, really, really dope. Something else I need to point out. The percussion time or whatever that was in the background. That was going in the background. That fit everything else perfectly. That had its own space and it was so dope how you used it. This is nasty, Jelani. Good God. You came out the bag with that with you. <laughs> Bravo, dog. Good God. Jelani Beats. Chicago got it on lock. We're missing one this week, but... I know he would have killed it had he actually stepped in. Talking to you, bro. All right, let's keep it going. The hits just keep on coming, man. Let's go holler at my brother right here. <clears throat> we call him Sir Ronald Beastly.
This is ridiculous, Ryan. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let me pull it together. A sample from the group White Heart. The title of their song is called Black is White. Uh, I titled the track Play to Win. I sampled the drums from a couple of Yacht Rock songs and layered them uh, to add a little extra kick, a little extra, a little extra knock to the kick and more thickness from the snare. Now all I need is a damn yacht. <laughs> Hashtag we are CMA. That was fire from top to bottom, yo. I figured out what I really like. It's a Ron B element. It's a repeat element, and that's not saying anything bad. But I love Ron's hats. I love how he programs them. In this particular case, and I don't know if I've noticed it before, but in this particular case, the hats were kind of panning a little bit, but it's just, it didn't sound like he had like two different ones going like a, you know, one, like a, a low and a high pitch kind of, I love that about Ron's music. I love how he programs his hats and it's in a number of his submissions and some stuff that, that he hasn't submitted that's on his projects. The way he used that sample, bruh, <laughs> yo, this dude had a few things going on throughout this song. The chops were so on point, along with the drum programming and, and again, those hats. But I think... Actually, I can't remember exactly where it is, but I'm assuming it's what would be the hook for this particular track. It had like some, uh, something like that going on in the background. That was so nasty. <laughs> oh, this Drake was dope. But the, then he had some, he chopped in some other stuff from Lord knows where else, where it is. Ron is a DJ, so, you know. He knows the art of pulling stuff from something else that fits the occasion, so to speak. And he's really good at it. This joint was fire, Ron. There's a reason why we call you Sir Ronald Beastly. And man, is it great to have you back. <laughs> good God. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate you. Hey, for anybody that's in uh, in the chat right now, greatly appreciate you coming through. We definitely want to make sure that we give you your proper due. So please put your name on the shout out list. Type exclamation shout into the chat. You only got to do it one time. Once you do that, you will be on the shout out list. And I will definitely holler at you. Uh, shout you out at the end of the show as we normally do. Speaking of the Carolinas, you already know who it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lord Gamma.
Gamma. You see what's on the screen directly below me? Yeah, bro. What the hell is wrong with Gamma Pods? <clears throat> he says, would have liked to have spent more time on this one. Hold up for a second. This cat said, I wish I could have spent more time on this. What is to spend time on? You goofball. This dude. Michael McDonald. Or was that Doobie Brothers? Either way. He actually... (laughs) He actually played out. I keep getting not in love anymore. Are you serious? He played the entire song. For any of our younger audience, that is the original sample to Warren G's with Nate Dogg's uh, Regulate. This dude is out cold, man. This dude, some parts I couldn't get quite right. Let me tell you what you need to get quite right. That right there, bro. Get that right. This dude is crazy. (laughs) Yo. Like, we do interpolations. <clears throat> we normally do it every year. I think we do it every year. And Kane did one, what was it, a week or two ago? That was really, really dope. Actually, he did a couple. I think Dixie did one, if I'm not mistaken. And now you got Gamma. Like, not only... He he didn't sample the Yacht Rock. He went and remade Yacht Rock. <laughs> Man, what the hell? <laughs> that was incredible, dog. I was not expecting that. But when that first five seconds or so, I'm like, wait a minute. Did he? And it played a little bit more. I'm like, he did. <laughs> Yep, there we go, Jelani. Hashtag the hate is real. (laughs) Real talk, man. I hate y'all. Get your name on the list. And now we come to the finale of the Yacht Rocks, the Yacht Hop 2018. A gentleman, I know he's going to absolutely murder it because he does so every damn week. Let's just get it in. Ladies and gentlemen, Dixie Freely.
Dixie Freely, closing out episode 202 of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. This guy, dog. What up, Tashir? Like with our last Yacht Rock assignment, I decided to make this one organic as well. This time I used a Whirlinser, uh, wave t- Waves 200 piano for the chords, and that choice was first for me. I use, it was a first for me. I, l- I usually use acoustic piano, roads, or pads for chords. At any rate, start up the Yacht. Peace. Hashtag we are CMA 18. <clears throat> I am surrounded by incredibly talented people. Period. That goes for definitely people at CMA and some of my people that's outside of CMA. It is an absolute pleasure to sit here every week and present this stuff to you, the audience, and the people who are, are, you know, actually participating, actual members of CMA, people who are outside of CMA, people who are brand new. It is an absolute honor to sit here every week and do this. I get to hear some of the dopest music and I get to present that to the world and introduce you to it. Come on, man. Dixie comes through and the first thing I heard, the first thing that really caught my attention was the cork popping. <laughs> we popping bottles, bro. <laughs> and then the drums kick in, the main groove kicks in, and it's just, from that point on, it's just nasty. Again, as with Afterlife, I come through with the organics, dog. And again, talk about some stuff that is definitely would I just say definitely inspires you to be close to the water? That's it. That's it. That's damn incredible. Bruh. My only complaint, and it's not even a complaint. I just wish this song was a little bit longer. (laughs) It's probably about two minutes, 20 seconds from what I'm seeing. And that's nothing wrong with that. But man... Ah, uh, I love y'all, man. <laughs> y'all make this so dope every single week, man. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here it is. Kicking off summer correctly. The good people of CMA, ladies and gentlemen. We do this every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. EST right here, youtube.com slash computer music academy. We'll be here. It's about to be a long summer. Appreciate y'all coming through and hanging with us tonight. I hope that you got yourself on the list. If not, go ahead and do so right now. Type exclamation shout into the chat. And we are about to... uh, Give y'all the shout outs because we definitely want to give you proper love for coming through and hanging with us live. And if you watch this on the playback, you're greatly appreciated as well. But try to come through one night and hang with us. We would love to have you here. It's a big time party. Let's see what we got here. Who we got we need to holler at this week. Woo. <clears throat> Gemini 4D. Late Pass Music, a.k.a. Jake Bishop, Agent Smith 78, RTO Beats, I Will Create, No One You Know, My Wife Samaya, Love You Baby, DJ Promo, Ron B, Fields, Dixie Freely, Jelani Beats, Chris Cash Music, that's a new name, welcome, Afterlife, Gamma Pods, Holistic Realist. Thanks for coming back. Good to see you. Student, my man. BS Filter. Those are some of my people from my show. Shout out to BS. 
Shout out to Thelonious Drunk, a.k.a. Kane. Killing it. KB420. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming through and hanging with us. Urban Audio Legend. Appreciate all of y'all coming through and hanging with us tonight. As I said, we do this every Tuesday, 8 p.m. EST, right here. YouTube.com slash Computer Music Academy. And if you would like to be amongst the great talent pool over here at CMA, come on over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com and join us. It is that simple. And if you enjoy what we do, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications so you know when we go live or upload videos. And most importantly, share the video. Let people know there's some stuff that's really going on over here and it's dope. On that note, done for the week. Enjoy the rest of your week and uh, I'll talk to you next time. See ya!